Truly I say unto you, today you shall be with me in paradise. Yes, Good Friday is good for so many people. The first word clearly tells that it is good for the rebellious soul. Even though they haven't asked forgiveness, Jesus Christ, Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. Now, we see an amazing thing happening. Many miracles took place in the life of Jesus Christ. Now, this is another miracle. People turning towards Jesus Christ, accept him, accepting him as savior or king is another miracle. Conversion is a miracle. See, when you approach someone and when you bring someone into the kingdom, when you convert people, that is a miracle. God doing miracle in their life using you. Now we see this person <clears throat> change his mind after looking at Jesus. The way he behaved on the cross. The way he forgave other people. Because as you read the sequence that we have in the gospel, particularly Matthew 27, it clearly says that in verse 44, they both were ridiculing Jesus Christ. But after some time, one person continued to ridicule Jesus Christ, mocked at Jesus Christ. And he challenged him, save yourself and us. But the other person said, he rebuked the other person and said, no, don't do that. We are justly being punished. Whereas this person is a just man. How did he came to know about Jesus Christ? Probably he heard about because the very words that he uttered clearly says that he just knew about Jesus Christ while he was hanging on the cross. Definitely he would have heard about Jesus Christ beforehand because he was talking about his kingdom. Yes, all along Jesus Christ was preaching about the kingdom of God. The main theme of the messages of Jesus Christ is the kingdom of God. He clearly said God is ruling now. He started ruling in your life. The kingdom of God is very close. Just reach out your hand and receive it. So he knew very well about Jesus Christ. So he changed his mind and asked him, Lord, remember me when you come into your power when you are in paradise. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this is what I am talking about, impacting other people's life. Yes, as we live in this world as Christians, we are called to impact the lives of other people so that God can touch their lives. People should be touched through your life, through your witnessful life. Now just ask, nowadays, now people don't care who lives in the next door. Many a time people live in an apartment, the same building, but they don't know each other. They don't, they don't care about the other people. That's the kind of world we are living in. But we Christians should not be like that. There is one elderly uh, person he was not a pastor, but he used to tell us, always pray this way. Lord, you have placed us as a lighthouse in the place where we are living. Tamil Pandwari. Andure, Yangalai Kalangari Velakamaga, Yangalai Andande Adatala Vaitirikri. So you will always say, God has placed us as light or lighthouse in the street or in the road where you live, in the apartment where you live, in the place where you work. Now Jesus has impacted, made an impact in the life of the thief and he changed. And he has re received a real blessing. He was really privileged to receive the kingdom of God, what the Pharisees and scribes couldn't receive. 
It's really amazing. Let me illustrate. <clears throat> Once two boys were running towards a train. One person is to go. Now the other person just came along with him and as they entered into the station, the sta train started moving. It was a small village, so it started very slowly. So as the train moved slowly, the other boy told him, no, you get into the train, it's moving very slow. So the other boss, person, was, the boy was a little afraid. The person who came along with him helped him to get into the train by showing this is the way you should run, hold this handle and jump into it. As he was trying to show the other person to get into the train, he got into the train. The other person was afraid and he stayed in the station. The other boy went away in the train. The station master came to him, sorry boy, you are unable to get into it, you go home. But the, the boy was not moving from the place where he was standing. He was just looking at the train. Then the station master asked him, why are you looking at the train? Go home. No, no, it's not that. I am the one who is supposed to take the train and go to my village. He just came to send me off. Now he has got into the train. See, many a time, Christians, if you don't lead a good Christian life, you will miss the train. Many a time I've seen people who have been saying, oh, my grandfather was a Christian, are not leading a witnessful life. Many a time the new converts they are on fire. They would get into God's ministry. They show God's love. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord wants you to be on fire. The Lord wants you to be excited about your salvation. The Lord wants you to be excited about the love He shows towards you. That thief was hanging on the cross experienced the love of God, the power of God, the way he behaved, then he surrendered his life to him. Now we, we know that this is a promise that God has given. When I am lifted up, I will receive people into my hands. I will draw people unto myself. Yes, God is lifted up. And he wants people to come to him. And all that Jesus wants us to do is to bring people to him. The repentant thief had the assurance that Jesus would definitely will take him into paradise. And Jesus assured that. And God has assured the salvation to each and every one of us. Let's thank God for that. Let's keep a moment of silence. Thank God that we are able to come to Him and receive His salvation. Let's thank God for the assurance of our salvation. Yes, Good Friday is good for the repenting soul. Do you repent of your sins? and seek God's help, God's strength. Jesus came to save the sinners. Loving God, we thank you for speaking to us even on this day. We are sinners, but at the same time, we know that we are repented sinners. Lord, help us always to seek you and say, Lord, I come to you. 
just as I am. Just as I am. Accept me. I know you would accept me. I know that you have accepted me. And all those gathered here, help us to lead a life assured of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.